Napkins are great. You can use them for focal images on your mixed media and art journaling pages. You can use them as embellishments. Now, if you've watched my channel at all, you have seen me water cut the elements that I want. And I'm just going to recap that technique because that still works well. And what you do, this is just one part of the napkin. To do that, you need to take off both excess plies of napkin. Peel them off, and usually I do that when there's the full napkin, but... So we pull off both of them. And then, and I need to remove the paper so it doesn't get wet, you're using a liner brush and some water. I just usually spray a little bit of water on my glass mat and you simply place the water on the edge. Now when you're doing something like these wine bottles. This is relatively simple because the folk, the image that you're doing is fairly large. And it's pretty easy to do. You just do small sections, peel it off. You can save the little bits. If it doesn't, you know, do not try to put too much water. I'm not going to finish this because you've seen me doing this numerous times. I like to get as close as I can and then I'll just continue to work around. I don't find that too difficult, but there are times when you have items in the napkin that are fairly intricate or smaller scale. And to water cut all of these may take longer than you want or might be a little more tedious than you want. So I came across a way of doing this. Now this is not my own technique. It is something that I saw someone doing and I go, well, that's just genius. And I, you know, kind of doubted that it, that it worked, but it totally does. Now to that, you are going to, to do this, you have to remove only one of the plies from the back of the napkin. And that's important. And I use a piece of tape to get that one piece, one of the plies on. So one of the plies is still here as well as the top ply. Now I love this, this napkin. All these napkins that I'm showing are from Ninny's napkins. Now what I'm going to do just for the sake of demonstration is take a pair of scissors and rough cut a segment of this napkin. And I want to try to save as much of it as possible. I love, I'm not sure if they're cherry blossoms or apple blossoms, and I know I can use them on a multitude of pages and themes that I do. So we have this section and I want to cut these out because I'm going to take these and I'm going to build them up on an art journal page. So what we're going to do is you need a piece of scrap paper. Now this is just from a mailer. This was the shipping invoice. I'm just recycling the paper. You can use a page from a magazine, a catalog. It, it doesn't matter. You basically want to give this stability. 
Now if I wanted to take this and cut this all out, trying with the napkin, it's very flimsy and I don't have the patience to deal with that. So what we're going to do here is stabilize it with paper. Now this is just regular copy paper. You could use a thicker paper, but this paper is going to go in the garbage. It is not being used. So here is the secret weapon. This is repositionable glue. This one's just Elmer's. There's different brands. This is just what I managed to get at Amazon. And what I want to do is put a good coat of it on the page as big as the napkin piece that I'm putting down. And I'm going to place that there and push it down. And I kind of go from the middle out just to make sure, try to minimize wrinkles, but it doesn't matter because this is not the final place. You're not gluing this down. You've seen me doing that where I use it as, I put it on a white backing to preserve the color before I glue it down onto my art journal or mixed media piece. So I'm just trying to get a good adhesion there. So, and again, I'm just going to cut this excess off for the sake of demonstra demonstration. So now I'm going to take my scissors and cut. The paper completely stabilizes it. So it is like you are cutting a printable, some, cutting something out of copy paper and it's so much easier. And you can cut things off, you can edit it as you wish, you can be as precise as you want, but it allows you to get right there. And for the most part, I mean, with the flowers, if I go a little bit in, it's fine. I'm just going to cut that off. Maybe I want to use these motifs, this embellishment on and a composition, a mini composition book, or I'm going to build them up, you know, paint my own branches and build this, use these as one of the elements. So I'm just cutting that up. Now if there was, and there is here, so I'm going to do that just for the sake of, there's some white space in the middle and I just want that out. It just makes it so much more possible. You would be really struggling if you were trying to do that with uh, the loose napkin. I'm just going to cut. Now I didn't wait for the glue to dry or set. I pretty much, you saw me doing it live. Put it on, put the napkin on there. So every time you're doing the napkin, however you're using it, you may want it differently. Sometimes you want to put a white backing on it to preserve the color because you're going on a darker background. Other times you don't have that issue or problem or concern. Um,
and you can see I'm not I'm cutting off some of the excess so what we're going to do now and this can be a little bit finicky what you want to do is you're going to peel back the colored layer and what happens is the middle layer stays adhered to the scrap paper and it allows you to just peel off the top layer of the napkin. And you can't really see that there, but that is the middle layer of the white the middle white layer of the napkin. This just goes in the garbage and now you have this ready to glue onto whatever you're working on. So this can be a little tricky. I think a pair of tweezers might help. There we go. And this one you can see, okay, there we go. We have another little motif. And you can see the pattern of that middle layer, that the indentations. The benefit of this is it allows you to get all the white of the napkin off from the edge. Especially, I can see this being really helpful if the background is dark like it is on this. You may not want that showing up. So you can cut just a little bit inside. So again, we've cut it. and peel back that part. Now I've started it. I'm going to let this one dry and I'm going to see if I let it dry for, you know, half an hour, an hour, whether I can still remove it. Because then I would just cut it to this stage, put it in my stash and then peel it off later. But you can see I have an art journal page underneath here. I can then take these and build them however I want. Now say I wanted to cut this apart. Now I can cut it with this or I can just do a little bit of water cutting to to finalize that because I may not know exactly the composition that I want. But you can see how you can just build it up. So let's do a couple other napkin samples. Let's go through the steps again. So step one is remove one layer of the napkin, the outside white layer. Sometimes when you do it with the tape, you get two layers at once. You want to avoid that. So make sure you're not pulling off two. And of course you can save these to use in your art journaling. And I don't want the background or I'm going to use the background for something else. So I'm going to just rough cut it. Like that. And I'm going to get rid of the parts that I absolutely don't want right now. I don't want to get them glued up. I, I will, you know, potentially use this, the script for, to add some interest to, to something at a later date. I save everything. So now we are going to glue 
this down with the repositionable tape or glue. Get good, get it as smooth as you can because you want to get the full thing. Now if there's glue that's on the outside here, like I've got some glue and it's tacky and I'm going to get it on my fingers, I can just quickly cut that off so it's not going to stick to anything that I don't want. Okay, and now all we need to do is cut. I just remembered that I had, when I cut the bottles out using this technique, when I was trying this technique, I had some into the, in the garbage and it totally, so that was sitting overnight and it totally comes off the day after. So yes, you can do that. That meat, that's great. So you can do that and spread out your art journaling, your process over several days if you wished. So you could do this in one step. You know, sometimes, I mean, we don't have two solid hours to do an art journal page. Sometimes we need to break that up. And this way we can do all the gluing down and the cutting and then keep it with the backing paper, with the firmness, until you're ready to glue it down. It'll make it easier if you keep the backing on before you peel it off. It also makes it easier to play with the composition on the page because it's not, you know, once you take off both plies, it gets very fragile and it bends and it gets a little awkward. So, good to know. A little bit faster than the water cutting and probably more precise. So then I can put that however just like that. And then we would be peeling Now with this one, and I'm glad that it's doing that now, the napkin isn't coming off. The second ply, so I'm just playing with it. We're, I'm glad that it's doing that here. Let me see. I'm 
Okay, that one came off, right? You can see the napkin part there. I'm not going to pull that off. I'm going to leave that there. Now this one isn't coming off. So what I might do is just put a little bit more of the reposition glue on there. Maybe it's a case of user error. I didn't put enough. Try a different section. Try burnishing it down a little bit more. Maybe that will help if when I do that initially. Hmm. And there, yeah, that helped. Burnishing it down. You could just peel it off and use tape on just that little piece if you're if you're struggling with that. But you do want to make sure you take that off. So I think what I would do is when I put the glue on, use your bone folder and kind of make sure you have good adherence. That one's not working either. So Try different sections of it. As long as you get one going, you're good. Ooh, I'm loving this. And then I can put this wherever, wherever I want it with my composition. So I've already told you that I did take something out of the garbage that I had done the night before and I was able to peel it off. This has dried for an hour and it comes right off. And you can see the excess is there. So then I can just, this is a door hanger. Play with the composition. it up and decide what kind of background. So whether your focal images are big or tiny or mid-sized, use repositionable glue and scrap paper or magazine paper to provide st structure so you can cut out these napkin elements that you can use on your art journal and mixed media pieces. Have fun with this. So now that you have some of these pieces cut out and you have a partial napkin, I just want to talk about storing them. And I, have, I keep them in these plastic sheet protectors in a three ring binder. And typically, so we have, this napkin is a full one. This one I've taken out some elements. What I will do to store them and to keep the elements, the images and the pieces, good if I don't use them so I can save them for the next project I will just put them fold them inside like that keep that all neat and tidy folded inside one and put it into the sheet protector so everything is all neat and tidy and organized.